Hey YouTube, Blastoise Rules here. I've got a couple of YouTube users sent me submissions for a PSA to get graded for them. I finally have a couple days off of work. It's been a long week, but um, I am going to show you what was sent to me by these two users. So, <clears throat> I'll start with Ludus de Morte Claudius. This is his second submission to me. In the last order that I sent, I sent some cards for him. I should be getting that order back. It should ship somewhere around January 10th. So actually I should be receiving it in time for my birthday, which is on the 15th. So I can't wait for that. Um, and I'm going to show you what he sent. So, he sent a Rayquaza Gold Star, Japanese, Unlimited, a Celebi EX Full Art, First Edition, Japanese, Black and White 6, really cool card, I'm thinking about buying one of these in Japanese. A white Kiram EX from Black and White 6. I really want to get one of these actually. Um, <clears throat> probably the card I want the most right now from Full Art was. Besides like Mewtwo and Darkrai, I want those too. But um, yeah, such an awesome, beautiful card. And it is first edition, it's just hard to tell. I have to hold this at an angle, otherwise you see the reflection of the camera. But really nice card. A Full Art Lugia EX from Black and White 7 Plasma Gale. Beautiful card. A Shiny Charizard from Plasma Gale. I have one of these myself too that I'm sending to PSA. And then he sent me just some first edition base set, Shadowless Commons and Uncommons. We've got Abra, Drowsy, Ghastly, Coughing, Nidoran, Mail and Tangela. It's actually odd though that there's three psychic and three grass. <laughs> but uh okay. <clears throat> so those are what he sent me. And to go along with that actually, as part of payment to get these graded, I got a full art Lugia EX myself. So he sent two of them. is awesome. Can't wait to get this graded. I love this card. As awesome as that looks, that's how all these other cards look. I just really don't feel like taking them out to show them. I want to keep them as mint as possible so they can get the, the highest grade possible. But this card is ridiculously awesome. I love it. On top of that, all the cards he sent me are mint to near mint. I would grade probably most of them mint, actually. All the Japanese ones are obviously pack fresh, mint condition, possibly gem mint condition. Minus, I think the Lugia Full Art has a tiny, a tiny problem with it. There's like a little ding or something in the corner. But yeah, pretty awesome. So I'll be getting these out December 1st, I believe. Somewhere around there. And then next we have 
from another YouTuber. Exclusive Collector 92. Emma sent me three cards to get graded for her. She already paid me for these two, which is cool. Um, we have a base set Zapdos. The card protector thing has a, some tape on it, but it's mint or very close to mint. I'd say it's a near mint eight, near mint to mint eight, grade wise. Um, come on, a first edition fossil aerodactyl. I would consider this a near mint to mint eight also. Grade wise. That's just what I think it'll get. I guess we'll find out when I get it back. And then lastly we have a first or not a first edition, just a base set Charizard from the yeah, base set Charizard. I love this card. This card I would actually consider mint. It's like brand new. I don't think I see. There's only a tiny few pieces of like lightning on the edges. A lot of the time they come out of out of packs that way, so I guess we have, just have to deal with it. That's why I started collecting Japanese cards, because the Japanese cards are actually usually gem mint right out of the pack. Unless the card's off center, which is easy to check. But, yeah, so that's two different um, YouTubers who sent me cards to get graded for them. And, as I said before, these will be going out, like, basically December 1st, somewhere around there. I'll try to get them out on the 1st. I get uh, my bonus on the 6th of December, so that's where I'm going to get these graded. Or when I'm going to get these graded. It's going to take two months, though, to get them back. It might be actually a little over two months, so not sure if you're going to get your cards back by your birthday, Emma. Um, I'll try to see if they can do it. I mean, there's nothing I can really do because it takes them usually at least a week to put the cards to order in the system once they receive it. At least three orders that I sent, it took them that long. Um... So stay tuned for more videos. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and can't wait to get my PSA returns back in January, the middle of January. So stay tuned for that. Bye, guys.